Hello everyone, as we have used Comfy UI to create effective workflow for create animation previously. In today's tutorial, we are going to walk through stable diffusion automatic, 1111 versatile capabilities, and endless creative possibilities using extensions, animate diff, reactor face swap, and control net IP adapter model. These incredible features have become integral to the animation landscape, offering a diverse range of applications to both seasoned creators and those just beginning their animation adventures. Watch till the end, you will see how we can create animation video and how easy way is it without typing any text prompt in Automatic 11.11. Let's get started. At the beginning of this tutorial, we'll start with the Animate Diff extension. I'll provide all the extension download links in the video description below. In this AI-generated animation, it all begins with text-to-image results, and we use these generated images in the Image-to-Image -image tab to create short motion scenes. For this particular animation, I used a cyberpunk style featuring two girls on the street. To do this, you can select the image result in the Text to Image tab. Choose one of the images you'd like to work with and click send to image to image tab there you go the image appears in the image to image tab now you can start experimenting with the animated diff extension the initial frame will use this image and no text prompt is needed i'm going to set the width to 512 and height to 768 pixels ensure all settings are correctly configured as other settings depend on your desired outcome in this case i've set the denoising strength higher Scroll down and you'll find the Animate Diff extension. Click Enable and set the number of frames you want for the output result. Then click the Generate button. As you can see in the command prompt window, the Animate Diff extension is working on the GIF animation by merging images for each frame. Interestingly, in this animation, I applied the Zoom Out motion LoRa, but it's only affecting the background. In the second experiment, we'll try using the travel prompt in animation. As demonstrated in the GitHub example, it allows us to control the movement of a character's mouth. Let's give it a shot. In the text prompt area, it's straightforward to set up each animation on a new line specifying the target frame number and the movement description. As you can see, the giant robotic character's mouth moves in this animation result. Here's another example involving moving elements within an image. This time, I'm using an image with no characters, only a city view with an apocalyptic style. We'll see how this extension creates animation for this type of image. We're using Animate Frames 20 for this one, and all settings seem to be in order. Let's click Generate. It's excellent. I like how it incorporates fire and mist to create motion from this image. Let's try this building. Great. It truly conveys an apocalyptic feel. I know some people have asked about using animated diff to create story videos on YouTube. So here's your starting point. I could create an apocalyptic story with this. Many channels talk about using various tools and logging into multiple free trial plan websites just to create one animation. But for us, Stable Diffusion users, we can do it all in one place. Plus, we have the freedom to create as many animations as we want. Moving on to the next feature of Animate Diff, we can use Control Net V2V. 
Uh, essentially, this means we can reference an image or video frames for animation control. For instance, you can make a character's movements based on a source video. In this example, I'm using a stock video footage of a boxer's punching movement as the animation control net video source. Simply drag and drop the video clip onto the video source panel. There's no need to set the number of frames manually as the extension will detect the number of frames in this video source. In the control net, I'm using DW Open Pose. Control net is more important option, IP adapter, and linear control net balance option. The result, as you can see, isn't a frame by frame copy from the source video. It changes the style into more of a 3D animation, including the character's face changes. So how can we maintain the character's face as we want it and generate it with more of a 3D animated style? This time we'll include the reactor face swap extension in the process. I'll use a short clip of a Korean girl as an example. For the control net, we'll use the same three models enabled with no changes from the previous generation process. We'll scroll down the page and enable Reactor, then drag and drop a face image onto the source image panel. In this case, I'm using an AI girl, Nancy's image as the source, then click Gender Detection Female Only on both source and target. Everything seems to be in order. Click Generate. After some time, I came back to check the command prompt and it's all done. The face swap extension was in the process and then Animate Diff merged all the generated frames into a single animation. There you go, pretty good this time. The character's movement uh, looks smooth. There's one frame where the clothing color changed, but that's not a concern. We did all this using only Stable Diffusion without other video editing tools, and we created a 7-second GIF animation. No complaints here, unlike some other tools. Let's click it to view it in a larger size. Nice. I like how it captures the sunset light even though the character keeps moving. That's Animate Diff running with ControlNet IP Adapter and Reactor Face Swap. You can check out all the generated animations at the end of this video. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.